Hi, I'm Marie. Welcome to Marie's Kitchen. This is the quarantine edition of Marie's Kitchen. So the kids are home. We are all home. We're all here together. So we may have some special guests on the show today, but we're going to make meatballs today and they are one of my family's favorite dishes. They're so easy and so flavorful. Really think you're going to love these. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so meatballs, what do you need? One half cup of arugula chopped, you could use parsley, just something green. I'm using one half cup panko, it's a great thing to keep in the pantry, or if you don't have it, you can use other breadcrumbs. This or is you also can, panko. Oh, you're right. Um, or you could also just grind up some crackers. One half cup Parmesan cheese, great thing to keep in the refrigerator, I use it a lot for extra flavor. This is one half cup onion or shallot, already chopped and two cloves of garlic. Finally, you will need uh, one pound. Deer. <laughs> Could be venison uh, or bison or beef. I'm using lamb today. That's what they had at the grocery store. We're in the middle of a quarantine, so some of the things are all out. So ground lamb, it is, and um, it'll be delicious. Can I put the things in? Yeah, come on over. <laughs> you can, how about you guys take turns? Okay, there's that one. So just take a turn, pour it in like a professional chef. No, 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 no. <laughs> there goes the Parmesan. Who wants to do the arugula, the spatula to kind of... Oh yeah, you don't like arugula, that's right. Here, you could put some onion in. Or shallot. Shallot, yes. Move these out of the way. Here, let's just toss that. A little bit and then I'm gonna put some about a teaspoon or so of salt the Parmesan has some salt in it so you don't need a, a lot more there you go Parmesan salt. okay thank you and then a little white balsamic vinegar and that just a little bit of the acid gives it so much flavor um, but it's really subtle and it's just so delicious it makes me crave these meatballs How much? Um, that's a good question I forgot <laughs> I think it's a teaspoon. <laughs> My teaspoon. And I will open the meat and add that. I'll add it. And mm. Mm. It smells like um what's it called? Onion. Not onion. No? Okay, so we'll put the add the I meat. Like that part. Okay, yeah, she doesn't like this part. Okay, you know what? It's not my favorite either, but you know what? They're delicious, so. I love them. I just don't like these. Put this in the trash for me? Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to use my hands to mash this together. These meatballs, actually, my brother Matt made up the recipe, and they just became one of our favorites. We're just gonna roll them into balls and then broil them, and that's my favorite thing about this dish. You don't have to brown them on the stovetop. You just pop them under the broiler and brown them there. Takes about five minutes a side, so really quick, really good, and they're just so kid-friendly. They are, you could add them to spaghetti and meatballs. You can eat them like an appetizer. Let's get these rolled in balls. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Roll them into meatballs, roll them on a now. Roll them into meatballs, da la 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 la. Oh my, I didn't know we were gonna be serenaded, but I'm loving it. So who likes these meatballs? I love meatballs! <laughs> yeah? I don't like them. You know what I love and I show? I love Oh, we don't like them. You love them. Okay, good. Um, I love to dip them in a little Greek yogurt. Please don't do don't that. Necessarily they're also taste like the best meatballs in the world, and they're healthy. They are. They are. They taste there. I think they're the best meatballs in the world. I think they are. 
So we're just making meatballs over here, but they're really relatively quick. I did chop the stuff beforehand, so that takes that takes a little bit of time, but it's really, it's not much. It's the onion, garlic, arugula, and that's it. So chop three things, add some panko, some Parmesan. We made these for a party one time, or Matt did actually, my brother. And uh, he made a bunch, like three pounds, and they were just a huge hit. They were gone immediately. And they're, so they're great for a party. You haven't seen so store bought food. <laughs> Oh my God, these are my children. They know, they know, they're, oh no. It's like walking in with a McDonald's what? while I'm cooking. <laughs> That's right. So we're just making meatballs. Making meatballs. So I make them pretty small. Okay, let's count how many. Let's figure out how many we have. So we have one, two, wait, stop. raw meat. One, two, three, four, five, six times 24. one, two, three, four. 24 minus one. We made 23. So we're gonna put the meatballs under the broiler for about five to eight minutes aside. Everyone's broiler is a little different, so it's hard to say exactly, but you want them nice and brown, and you are gonna flip them once. So five minutes, flip, brown the other side, five minutes, and they should be done. So let's pop them in the broiler. I love to serve these with Greek yogurt, and I like to strain the Greek yogurt a little bit. Oh, sure. So it's a little bit, um, you can put some in there. I like to thicken the yogurt a little bit by straining it. And you can do that with a cheesecloth, but whoever has a cheesecloth, I don't. So instead we use, thank you, thank you so much, paper towels. We're just gonna take one or two paper towels and we will put that, put a little more in there maybe. And- I said I wanted to- Oh, you wanted to scoop it out, okay. Here, we'll just kind of flatten it down and then you'll just place the paper towels right on top. And the paper towels will set, kind of suck out the moisture. So it's like the opposite of straining. Um, and you do this a few times and you'll have this nice thick yogurt. It's great as a dipping sauce. It's like lebni if you've ever had that, which is popular in Mediterranean cooking. So now we'll pull it off and see all the... No, 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 no. There it is. It's, so we can use another round. Let's add a little salt and give that a stir. How much salt? I put a pinch. It's hard to say. You can use this. Uh oh, there's the broiler. Five minutes. So we're going to put one more layer down and soak that out one more time. Okay, let's check it and see if it is. Are they brown on top? It's going to be hot. So, how about we. Everyone do it. Now this is a hot pan, okay? So they're starting to get a little bit brown on top. Oh, hello. Not one. I'm flipping that. Okay, we're just gonna get the other side brown. Looking good. I'm gonna put them back in their little places. Can I, can I take the spatula into the sink? Oh, what a helper, thank you. Okay. Then we're gonna put these back under the broiler for about five or six minutes, just till they're nice and brown and they are ready to serve. Yay. These smell so good. They do, don't they? Yummy. Okay, pop these back in here. Right. I'm inside of an oven. I'm gonna put this down here. Come on, that's hot. Hmm. Okay, that's off. way too close, buddy. Way too close. <laughs> there, please, this is real hot, okay? And that was so easy, 10 minutes in the oven. that. So there is, is our dirty, meatballs. Oh, dirty. Ugh. Dishwasher's not working very well lately. Or someone, my husband, is putting them in there dirty. That's what's happening. They need to be rinsed. Okay, so let's move these over to a bowl. Plate these up over here. These are some of my favorite bowls. They're from Williams Sonoma and they're their individual pasta bowls. But I love to use them for like a mezza platter where you just have a bunch of stuff. <laughs> bunch of stuff out. They're just such nice flat bowls. I use them all the time for serving. So we love to eat kind of family style. You just put out a bunch of stuff. It's not like there's necessarily a main course. There's just meatballs and rice and vegetables. And there is your dinner. And this was just done in what? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. If I can do it, 
but with these two, you can totally do this. So thanks so much for joining us on Marie's Kitchen. Today we made meatballs and they were so easy and so delicious. I hope you'll try them. Please let me know if you do. Also be sure to like and subscribe. I'd love to stay in touch. We've got lots more videos. Pretty good. We've got lots more videos coming up with lots Here of comes easy. The choo -choo. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> yum. Delicious, right? Mmm. Got lots more videos coming up with lots of easy recipes that you can make for your family that they will love. Because that's what this is all about. It's about making food with and for the people that you love. From my kitchen to yours, thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you <laughs> so much for joining us on Marie's Kitchen. Mm. Thanks so much for joining us on Marie's Kitchen. Today we make. Dude, can I just. Thanks so much for joining us on Marie's Kitchen. Thanks so much for joining us on Marie's Kitchen. And silly videos. <laughs> so, um, and. Hey, stop there. There's not going to be any more for the picture. We are gonna have to say bye because they're gone. Wait, I'm not done yet. Uh, what'd you say? Okay, so.